Mountains fill the human spirit with awe and wonder. They absorb the imagination, offering challenge, veneration, and exhilaration. In early writings, they're associated with the divine. Mountains have both a physical and spiritual attraction. They are the backbone of the earth rising to rip the sky. No matter how one perceives them, mountains have power. Gothic writer Mary Shelley wrote, The mighty Alps, whose white and shining pyramids and domes towered above all, as belonging to another earth, the habitations of another race of beings. A few hundred years ago, British writers fleeing the smoggy, coal-blackened cities that stifled their imaginations embarked on the grand tour of Europe. When they arrived in the Swiss Alps, the word they chose to describe these landscapes was sublime. I'm off to unearth what the sublime meant to those early travelers and what Switzerland has to offer visitors today. I'm in search of the origins of ecotourism and adventure travel, and how the experiences of past poets and artists transform travel as we know it now. Like many people, I thought sublime was just another word for wonderful. The way one might describe a beautiful flower or delicious food. sublime. But my friend, alpine climber John Harlan, suggests a deeper meaning. The sublime is this appreciation for nature in its, in its most sort of awe-inspiring sense. I mean, it's something you have to put yourself into. And experience it for yourself, the best way to do that is by traveling through Switzerland. And you might start more on the eastern end and then take the train and traverse the length of Switzerland, staying as close to the spine of the Alps as you can and really just put yourself in it because it's something to be experienced. Many travelers today are seeking more meaningful travel experiences. It's no longer enough to just tick another destination off the list. It's no longer enough to just check in, to do some shopping and check out. Thoughtful travelers are looking for greater adventure and a deeper connection with the world around them. They're hoping to make a difference. They're looking for adventure with purpose. Don't, don't, don't. 